You recorded a video, but for one reason or another, wait a minute, the sound was horrible. Oh. It could be that you forgot to plug in a microphone, or maybe you were recording on your phone because it's all you had available. In today's video, I'm going to show you Adobe's insanely impressive audio AI tool that can rescue your content and make it sound like you were sitting in a professional studio, whether you're outside on a noisy street or you were just too far away from the camera in a room with tons of echo. I had a client about a year ago send me a video file, and in a few minutes, I'm going to show you a sample of what the AI can do. They had recorded it on the National Mall in Washington, DC. For reference, I Googled how many people visit the National Mall in DC every year and found that 25 million people visit. Divide that by 365 days and on any given day, 68,000 people could be there. This means it's noisy, it's busy, and you'll hear tons of side chatter if you try to record a video. Now add into the mix the fact that the only thing available to this client was the built-in microphone on their camera. I know, I can feel the cringe through the computer screen. Simply put, this was a worst possible case scenario outside of having a jackhammer right next to the recording. If it were me, I'd just recommend that we record the video another time, even if it has to be done remotely from their home, since it would be quieter. So, you've got a recording. It sucks and you want to fix it. You could do what I did a year ago and buy a software like Isotope, which has all sorts of audio cleanup options, but it's going to set you back a few hundred bucks. Or, if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud account, you could use a free tool that allows you to upload audio files and within minutes, get back an AI-enhanced version of the clip. Adobe Podcast is a beta tool that Adobe introduced. And if you have a membership to Adobe Creative Cloud, you can get a bulk upload option. You can tweak the strength of the audio enhancement and you have the ability to upload up to four hours of content per day with files as large as one gig. They have three different tools such as Enhanced Speech, the one that we'll use today, Mic Check, where you'll get advice on how to improve your microphone setup, and the Studio, where you can record, edit, and enhance all from your browser. Adobe Podcast also allows you to edit audio as if it were a Word document, where you take the transcription and cut, copy, and paste audio just like in a text document. Editing audio has never been easier when you're ready to fix an audio file. Simply take your video into Adobe Premiere or your editing software of choice and export the audio file only. This helps to keep the file size under the one gig limit. Then head on over to podcast.adobe.com and log in if asked. From there, you can select the Enhance Speech button and you'll be taken to one of the easiest user interfaces to use, where you can upload your files, wait a few minutes, and magically receive an AI-adjusted audio file to download. Once you have that file ready to go, simply drop it into your timeline in Adobe Premiere or your other editing software and line it up to replace the old audio. Keep in mind that this is a beta software, so it's not going to be perfect every time. If you're looking for something that will fix the worst possible audio, this is not an excuse to record bad audio. It's also guessing at what you say by using AI. So if your audio is so bad that you can barely hear what the person is saying, don't expect it to be this magical solution to make them say something that isn't there. That tech is almost here, but that's another Adobe tool in the works. Make sure that you stick within the limit of four hours of content per day and one gig per file if you're doing bulk uploads. Like I said, it's a beta, so I'm sure in the future, there may be ways to pay to upload tons of audio and do hundreds of hours of cleanup, but I'm guessing for right now, they wanna keep the service from getting bogged down. It also shouldn't be used on all of your projects because we should always strive to get decent audio in the first place. This should really be used in a scenario where you couldn't capture good sound. Here. Let's try a few samples of audio that I recorded. One is in my home office, and the second one is outside by the street. Both were done on my phone with no microphone other than the built-in mic. Here's the audio before I enhanced it with Adobe Podcast. This is a sample of me recording in my home office. You probably hear some natural room echo as I'm speaking, and you can probably tell that I'm not holding the mic up directly to my 
mouth. Here's a sample of me talking outside. So you're going to hear the noise of the HVAC units and some of the noise of the street. And it should be much louder than it was inside. And here's the audio after I enhanced it with Adobe Podcast. This is a sample of me recording in my home office. You probably hear some natural room echo as I'm speaking, and you can probably tell that I'm not holding the mic up directly to my mouse. Here's a sample of me talking outside, so you're going to hear the noise of the HVAC units and some of the noise of the street, and it should be much louder than it was inside. It's a huge difference, as you can tell, and greatly improves on the sound. It's almost like I went into a studio and recorded under perfect conditions. AI is just getting started, but as I've mentioned in other videos, it's a tool that's going to make our lives easier. I see it as a tool that we should all be considering leveraging in our businesses if we wanna stay caught up with the times and survive in an already competitive video world. I hope you enjoyed this quick intro to Adobe Podcast, and I'm excited to see you using it in your work as well.